Fireboy made a stage debut into the music industry in 2019 and caught everyone's attention. From a sleeper hit Jealous to a brilliant love song What If I Say to a sonic soul R&B single King and then ending the year with a masterpiece album Laughter, Tears and Goosebumps which happens to be his debut album Fireboy showed the star quality to put him forward in the league of new generation music artists in Nigeria, getting at least 10 major award nominations on his first main year in the industry with massive music stream goes beyond doubt to say that Fireboy was one of the most successful newcomers in the industry in 2019. So we pose the question, how did Fireboy rise to fame from a hustling songwriter who faced the critical decision to either spend nights living under a bridge in Lagos or leaving a studio before fate caught up with him? Hello guys, it's T-Code here for African Glitz. Fireboy DML, whose real name is Ademola Adefolahan, is a 23-year-old Nigerian singer and songwriter signed under YBNL Nation, a record label owned by Olamide one of Nigeria's finest indigenous rappers. He was born on February 5, 1996 in Abelkuta, Ogun State. He grew up living with his parents before heading out to Obafemi Awolowo University to study English in 2011 at a young age of 16. In 2012, while he was at 200 level, he gave his music talent a chance. Going to the studio to record his first song that year, he became convinced that he had what it took to become an excellent music artist. Unlike most upcoming artists back then in OAU who enjoyed featuring his stage performances across the campus, Fireboy stuck to making his music in the studio before exporting them to a small audience online. Fireboy started with Afrobeat and looked up to Whiskey and Davido in his eight days. Along the way, he decided to carve a niche for himself by creating a different sound he calls Afro Life, which is a blend of country music, folk, soul, R&B, reggae on afro sounds the jealous crooner's dedication in music affected his academic performance in a bad way this wasn't good for a boy who was known for his academic brilliance and his parents were concerned however after studying in 2016 fireboy shocked his parents with the news that he wants to move to lagos to pursue his music career although his father was not happy with the decision he allowed him to leave his dreams the young singer moved to lagos got very serious with his music and started making little money through songwriting for upcoming and popular artists. In 2018, after deciding he was ready to take up music as a career like his life and soul depended on it, he found his way to Cool FM Ox Session, a music studio platform where upcoming artists get to show their musical talent. While striving to succeed in music, at the age of 21 in Lagos on his own, Fireboy experienced a tough time. His house rent expired, he had no money, he had to decide whether to go and sleep under a Lagos bridge or continue to crash in the studio for a little longer before going back home to his parents. But little did he know that fate was on his side. Fireboy revealed that a friend told him severally that Olamide was picking interest in him, but he found that too hard to believe. His doubt was almost conquered when Olamide himself chatted him up on WhatsApp to discuss his interest in signing him after listening to his tracks. It wasn't until Olamide himself posted on Twitter saying, Fireboy, welcome to YBNL, that he knew for sure that it wasn't a dream. That very day, on October 16, 2018, Fireboy moved in with YBNL Nation and became part of the family. The next day, Fireboy was made to join the YBNL family album project and started recording immediately and two of his songs would later feature in the collaborative YBNL Mafia family album. The album featured all the YBNL Mafia family members which includes Olamide, Picasso Rap, Yomi Blaze alongside other affiliates of the label Limerick, Leo Cash, Temi Ovzwasa, Lighter and DJ Any Money. The 13 track body of work didn't get much traction but Fireboy's impact on the album wouldn't go without being noticed. His songs I'll Be Fine, Jealous, plus Olamide Mutigbano were the major hits on the album. Oh baby, I'm getting jealous. Don't wanna see you with anybody. Oh, I'm getting jealous. Already. At that point, everyone knew Fireboy was unique. It brought a different sound to the team. Just like Adekunle Gold, 
Fireboy stood out and perhaps became the one to fill the space Adekunle Gold left behind. He later admitted that Adekunle Gold influenced his music to an extent. He also acknowledged John Bellion, Passenger and Wandeko as the three major artists who influenced his music a great deal. His song, Jealous, soon became the most loved song by fans on the YBNL album, so much that it got re-released on March 25, 2019. This time, it got the attention and publicity it deserved by the label and fans. In no time, Fireboy became a household name. The Jealous song was on the lips of everyone. It was popular on the radio, in the clubs, at event parties, and people got so addicted to the song. <laughs> It started topping every major chart in the country. It was only a pointer to the fact that this 23-year-old had a lot to offer music lovers. Fireboy proved fans right with the release of another single, What If I Say, which turned out a hit as well. In August 2019, two months after his last release, it dropped another hit song, King. By this time, Fireboy had already gotten a large number of minions that he needed to feed with good music and it was only a matter of time before they would identify themselves as fire citizens. As things were taking off for the new boy in the world of Afrobeat and Niger music, he started performing in shows and events. This was when he also began building his brand and trademark. Fireboy switched from wearing a head tie to rocking dreadlocks having a tattoo of a music symbol and wearing clothes that showed a distinct fashion sense, something between vintage and classic pop. With the new image and look, Fireboy appeared ready to show the world is entirely a star in his own right. As a singer who had already found his place among the new school era of Afro artists making waves across the continent, often is compared to Joe Boy and Remer, both of which has also presented themselves to be super talents in the industry. It was no surprise seeing these three appear in the same categories for different award shows within and outside Nigeria. Just like the others, Fireboy has worked hard and built his brand within the shortest possible time and has gained a larger share of trending songs in the country. His sounds are rapidly going mainstream and he has a perfect and experienced manager with a strong label. It's 2020 and Afrobeats lovers wanted something new and with the aid of social media and audio streaming, Fireboy is bound to gain even more spotlight with his uniqueness. His sound is different. It develops a sound from every other sound he has already fallen in love with and called it Afro Life. It was a typical blend of Afro beats with R&B, reggae, soul, folk and country music. By the last quarter of 2019, Fireboy had gotten not less than 10 nominations from the Eddies, City People Music Awards and Sound City MVP Awards Festival. He won the award for the most promising act of the year 2019 from City People Music Awards and Listener's Choice 2019 for his song Jealous at 2020 Sound City MVP Awards Festival. But he didn't end the year without an album. On November 29, 2019, the Vibration crooner released Laughter, Tears and Goosebumps a 13-track album which lasted for 40 minutes and doesn't feature any guest artist. This album is classified as one of the finest albums in 2019 by a Nigerian music artist. The album got a rating of 9 over 10 by 2 Exclusive, an online music blog in Nigeria, and a 7.5 rating from Pulse.ng, a Nigerian entertainment and news blog. With this solid body of work, Fireboy made a statement to the world that he is an extraordinarily talented artist who was ready to take on the world. Fireboy's story without a doubt is all about a talented boy who believed in himself. It came from the interior parts of Abelkota Ogun State, Nigeria to the islands of Lagos. It was once a mere songwriter trying to survive while charting a style of music called Afro Life. It might seem like it all happened in a year, but the journey began about seven years before he eventually made it, grabbing massive attention from the rest of the world and rapidly growing his fan base. Do you think Fireboy has what it takes to carry Afrobeats to the next level in this decade? 
Which of Fireboy's song is your favorite so far? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out our channel for more interesting African stories and news we know you'll love. Hit the bell sign to be notified every time we upload your favorite videos so that you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.